Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we got an animal, an elephant, side view of elephant head. So, uh, requested a few times by one person in particular, I think. So, hope this helps you out, my friend. So, let's go. We will start with his eyes, right? So, let's see. So we'll go. So kind of like a diagonal line up here, right? So we're just above halfway over to the right a little bit. And then underneath, so the elephant's eyes are kind of just black, right? There's, you can't really see a pupil or anything, right? So we'll just curve this around like so, right? And then we'll shade this in sort of black. And these can be eyelashes maybe, you know, kind of like an eyelash there. But you can't really see much down here, so maybe something like that. Just leave a little bit of white. Right, so then roughly around this, we've got like some eyelid lines and stuff. So let's see. We go like up and around. So like some wrinkles and things. You know, real wrinkly creatures, elephants. So like eyelid lines and stuff like this. Coming down from the eye there bags underneath the eye, wrinkles, much of this kind of stuff as you want to do, of course, like you're just sort of feeling it out. Like so, roughly. Like that, right? So our trunk comes out from here, right? So we could have like, so like some sort of brow line sort of there and then the front of the face will come down like here. So and it's, it is a bumpy, rough sort of line, okay? Like that. And the overall structure, so like the, the, the mouth is here, just underneath the edge of the eye. Right? So this is like the mouth area. And it could be dark just here, right? So that's like the width of your trunk. And it like comes out like that. And then there's like a tusk, right? So this like bumps down, right? And the tusk will come out here, but the other side of the trunk is like back this way. So like bumpy sort of line comes down here. And the trunk will keep going on this side, right? So we'll just bump this all the way. And it kind of curls around here to the top. Like this, and we'll bring this all around here as well. So then our elephant has that sort of, I don't know, what would you call it? It's just the top of his trunk, I guess. So it just comes up and then curls around to this sort of little hook on top, which comes back in. Down to there. And then comes back out. Down to there, back up. And then around that way. Right, so then, so like at the mouth, at this area, we've got like lips and stuff, right? So like, there's like a lip, sort of bottom lip here. Comes up, like so, and then it'll come back this way, right? And then like, you can add like wrinkles, as much wrinkles as you want, because he, he's, he's incredibly wrink wrinkly. And there's like, like a jawline that goes back this way. So it's, it's kind of personal choice how much wrinkle you want to do. You know, you 
can do all of it or just a little bit with some of this texture. You know, that kind of stuff. Get some coming around maybe here. Just light lines, you know, you don't want to overdo it, I guess. Like that, right? Right, so we'll add the tusks and then the details on the trunk. So we've got one tusk, comes out from here. Pretty smooth curved line. Out to there. Then the other side, so we'll go, so maybe, let's see, maybe should be here. This is like the skin line and then back around like so. And if you want, you can add like some texture to this. Like so. And the trunk on the other side, you can barely see it, it's around the other side of his face, so it's just down here. And you can add some texture on that as well. And we'll just erase that line that we shouldn't see for his trunk, because his tusk is not see through. Okay, so then all we gotta do is add sort of these texture lines just on his trunk, right? So all coming down this way. So there's like loads of them. Okay, and there might be um, some wrinkles going down as well. But not a lot. Mm -hmm. I'll just make the shadow of his, of his mouth just a little bit bigger here. Just make it stand out a little bit more. And I think we can see like the other side of his tusk thing, skin or something back here. So we're just making some of these edge lines a little bit thicker, make them stand out a little bit more. Okay, so then the top of the elephant's head, so kind of like a bumpy line just goes up this way. And then we'll go flat back, like so. And again, we could have like 
some more sort of light sort of texture lines for the skull and like wrinkles and stuff coming across. And then our ear is going to come out from here. Real long now. Longer than you think. And then we'll bring it down the back. And then we turn the corner. And then we add the wavy sort of part of the ear, you know, the sort of wrinkly part of the elephant's ear comes down this way. Back up into there. And then the ear here has all, you know, rough sort of wrinkles coming around like so. And here then, let me see. Yeah, okay. And this will have like some lines on it, like so. Yeah, they could there could be some like shadow. vein lines and stuff. That kind of sort of textury stuff. Sometimes adding dots on a picture like this will bring your detail level up a little bit. And what we can see of the other ear around the other side, not much. Just like a little sort of shadow of an ear. Just like a trace around just that ear as well. It's just around the other side of his head, I mean. Okay, so neck kind of bumps down here. Again, can be wrinkly. And neck on top, so it comes out from the ear level space right here. Ear level space. <laughs> um, this comes back like so. Sometimes I just make up phrases. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> the ear level space. And um, so like the shoulder and the leg, so so it's like here, right, coming down here. So neck, and then it, the neck goes, joins the underbelly, which comes back this way. And then the leg, so here, we'll draw this in first. All right, so leg there, and there's, I think there's a leg stepping forward here as well. As well. So he's like walking this way. Walk this way. Okay, some hatching lines there. Muscles and dots and wrinkles. We can just maybe thicken this up a little bit. Little details like these thin lines can help. See? Just gives it a bit of texture. Like so. And then the back of his leg, like the elbow area. There. And this has wrinkles and like elbow skin. Like that. So just following sort of the direction of the leg. Adding this sort of crisscross pattern for wrinkles. As I see it, you know. And then his body goes back this way. And then we got like some 
wrinkles here like a belly line so like there and every now and then you'll have like some wrinkle lines and we're just thicken up our edge lines up here relatively smooth skin on the back of the elephant's head it looks like anyway Not a lot of wrinkly stuff here. Okay. But I'll just add some line weight here, just to the edge. Maybe to this one just to show it's like his belly. Maybe make some of these wrinkles a little deeper. So if you make a line thicker, see it sort of makes it look like there's more shadow underneath it. Well, that's the idea anyway. Okay, but I think I'll leave it there. That is how to draw an elephant side profile. Hope it was helpful. Person who requested, I can't remember your name or anything, but you requested a lot. So, and people rarely request animal ones. So, yeah. Just seeing more wrinkles here now around his ear and stuff. Okay. I think I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.